Hello, adventurers and game masters everywhere. I'm Doug Davison. Today I'm going to be showing off a new feature in version 4.5 that we will be releasing very, very shortly, which is called Quick Maps. And so uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you now if you're in the asset window and you have an image selected, such as uh, this nice one, uh, I'm searching for assembled. If you have a bunch of the Paizo map packs uh, that are tile based, there will also be a bunch of these called assembled map packs which kind of shows some examples of what it would look like if you compiled all those tiles yourself. So I'm just going to take one of these existing ones. Here's a campsite, which is a, a really nice one. And I'll do quick map. You'll see this little button shows up here. So you have a create image record, which works just like before. Let me show you what that looks like. It just opens up the, the record here, just like before. But I'm going to open it up again. I'm going to do quick map. And you'll see now you have this new little window here. And it pre-fills the asset at the top. And you have this option to say, use it as a fill if you want. Um, this will do some other stuff I'll explain here in a moment, but for now I'm just going to use it without hitting this use as fill button. You'll see here that there's an encounter button that says use combat tracker or drag and drop an encounter here. So I'm going to show you first with a uh, drag and drop encounter. And then here you'll see that there's a little section here, nine little boxes, and this says party. And then nine little boxes over here says enemy. This indicates where you're going to have the players uh, the party start out basically when they get when the map loads so I can pre-place these basically here by just saying okay I want them to start in the upper uh, left corner or in this particular case here I'll start them here just in the very center of the map uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and load an encounter so I've got this one here forest invaders which is one brown bear and two etter caps and I'm going to drag that into here and that's all I have to do and uh, I'll have to specify where the enemies are going to show up so do I want the enemies to come from the upper left corner and maybe the bottom right corner? Then it'll divide those two enemies up. So if I hit submit, you now have them added to the combat tracker as before. You have the brown bear and one of the editor caps over in the corner here. And then down in the other part, you have the other editor cap. So that's um, like a quick and dirty way to, to get a mapping going. That's a very quick map sort of a thing to do. And then here I can select and, and shift into first person view and so forth. So uh, yeah, you can use that. So I'll show off a few of the other ways you can do that. So if I wanted to just use whatever was in the combat tracker, let's get rid of the brown bear and let's add in another NPC. Let's add maybe a uh, bullet and we'll add uh, maybe something else. How about a uh, earth elemental? All right, so I've added in a couple other monsters here. And uh, now I want to do a quick map with, uh, let's grab this one, which is a another campsite. I'll do a quick map. I'm not going to enter the encounter here. This time I'm going to have the players start on the bottom of the map. And then I'm going to divide out uh, whatever's in the CT or the combat tracker here and here and here. So now there's three different places that it will divide them out. I'll hit submit and now you'll see that some of the monsters are in the top, some of them are in the middle, some of them are in the bottom right, and the players are in the bottom middle section here. So it kind of divided the map out into uh, three by three quadrants basically that it uses. So um, now you can basically jump right into combat and you got the combat encounter ready to go very quickly. So some other features I'm going to show you is if you look at um, say Phil for instance. And it depends on what you have for your graphics and how many uh, packs you have loaded. Like if you have the art pack subscription, for instance, uh, then you would be able to load up, say, this dirt fill, for instance, or concrete fill. So let's use that. And I'm going to say quick map. And then I'm going to say use it as a fill. And now you see that there's a map size. You want to be a small map size, a standard, or a large. So I'll start off with small. I'll uh, put the players off to the side. And I'm going to dump all of the enemies right here, just in one little pile and then have them sort there. Uh, I'm going to use the combat tracker again. So here you'll see that they're all kind of centered around each other. We are working on like doing a little bit better job in the future, I think, of, of the larger creatures and the small ones kind of intermixed. Right now the large creatures do have a slight overlap of each other, but we'll, we'll have that refined here probably before too long as well. And let me use control to make the window bigger. So you can see this is what a small map looks like. It just basically fills this one. If I go to the base here, uh, I can go to the paint layer and I can go to edit fill and I can use all the little controls here, 
control mouse uh, wheel to scale up or down, that sort of stuff. Uh, I can shift it and rotate it and you know do the same sort of stuff as I did before. What it basically is is it's a painting layer that is just basically a square of either a small, medium, or large size. And then the, the background for the painting layer is essentially the stroke, uh, or sorry, the fill is going to be whatever image we selected kind of there. So uh, you can go through and you can play around with that, edit that, switch it out, you know, however you'd like, basically. All right, so um, that's a medium, or sorry, a small map. Let me show you again. Let's do this one with a, a fill. And this will make more sense when I show you the, uh, the editing of the fill for this one because it's right now it's going to make it larger than we want. Um, again, we'll have that fixed in a moment, but let's say we're going to go, let's go with the large one and I put the players here and then I'll, I'm going to divide everything out here. And so again, you'll see that this is now a very large map. One thing it did currently that we should have fixed soon is that this is a very, um, the scale of this is a little bit off. So, um, that's easily addressed right now by going to the paint layer and then edit fill. And then use the control mouse wheel to scale the image. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's like the layer here. And then I'm just using the mouse wheel down. So now if I zoom in here, that's kind of the, the style that I wanted. And you can adjust that however you like. Where did I put the players? I think I put the players up at the top here. So if you want that to be really small, uh, like so, now in, in 3D view, yep, that looks about right. So you can kind of modify that and you can modify it here in 3D view if you want to make it bigger, or smaller. But what it basically did is if I look at the paint layer here, again, it basically just made this paint layer for me automatically. And then it placed my NPCs here and here and here and here. Okay. So that's one area you can do that is directly from the asset. The other place you can do that is whenever you have an encounter loaded. So let's grab, say this dungeon encounter here, dungeon invaders, you'll see that uh, I can add it to the tracker. Let me clear out the existing tracker first. I can add it into the tracker. I've not pre-placed any of these, otherwise they would be check marks. So you can still pre-do those if you know exactly like, hey, I want this to be at a cemetery, for instance, you could do that. But if I don't wanna uh, do that, I just wanna like do it very quickly. I got an encounter, I'll click quick map. And then here I can click on the assets, open my asset window. Let's see if I have a cemetery graphic. All right, I'll just grab the cemetery one in here and then I'll say, all right, the invaders, uh, let's see the players here and then the invaders will be all over the place. All right, and again, just reveal them. And now I've got, there you go, up and going. So that's the quick maps. It's very quick and easy. Uh, I think it'll be something that we'll continue to expand upon in the future. We can do some really uh, other interesting stuff in the future that we hope with this. Uh, so stay tuned and see what else we'll come up with. Thanks for watching. Take care.